just wanted to uh, put a face with the words. I uh, made some recent musings about how disconnected I feel um, with the community at large. And so I thought I'd put a face to the words and say, Hi, here I am. Um, today is uh, just another day in my life. Um, but a significant day nonetheless. Um, I got some Adele going on in the background. I got some laundry going on over here. I'm going to cook some coffee up and boil some water. And just shoot the shit, man. Why not? Mm, you keep sliding down. I want you to come up. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Alright. So, this is my kitchen at the boys yet. And uh, the sun is not out. Again. That's okay. Um, it's a tough one for me. Uh, I came from a place where there was over 300 days of sun a year. And we live in a place where there's only 120 days now. So, ah, it's challenging. Um, but it's a nice place. A lot of cool stuff that goes on here. Just having to learn to readjust my expectations to life. Not gonna be able to go backpacking every weekend like I like, but spring's coming, so I'm really looking forward to that. So, here I am. I'm just gonna jump in and out, play with this a little bit, and uh, see what I can come up with. Alright. So I'm going to start off by uh, making my paleo breakfast. The coffee is done, as you can see, right there. Paleo breakfast is going to start out with uh, sautéed onions. You can't go wrong, you put sautéed onions in everything. Cook everything in coconut oil. So um, I'm going to have the sautéed onions. I'm going to have uh, a diced up yam that I'm going to cook in an uh, iron skillet. And I'm going to prepare my eggs, and once all that's cooked, um, transfer everything over to the nonstick skillet and uh, cook up my eggs. Mix it all up, and it's going to be good. Chicken out. Okay, there's the uh, onion. It's all caught up. So you just dice it up uh, into, you know, minus one inch uh, pieces. And here is the uh, skillet that I use. It's just a small cast iron skillet. And I have melted uh, coconut oil, which is right there, I get from the cup. And basically, you just take it, put them in here, and I don't have any sizzle going on because I don't have the heat up all the way, but I like to turn the heat up about two-thirds of the way to get the oil melted. And then once I put the onions in, I then crank the heat up so that we can get some good cooking on that. I'll just take that, put that all in there and take some, uh, take my little skillet, my little spatula here, mix this all up, get this going good. I like to spice this up too a little bit. So what I like to do is take some black pepper and sprinkle it in there. I also have some uh, granulated garlic that I will put in there as well. Um, this is my favorite right here. This is sage, taken from the Grand Canyon. Uh, take a little bit of sage. This stuff is gold because I have to hike many miles to get it. They say, well, there's plenty of sage around in Boise. Why don't you just grab that stuff? Well, this stuff has uh, got some unique flavor to it. I've only been able to find it in the Grand Canyon. So, I take a little bit of that, put that in there. I'll put the garlic in just in a little bit and uh, get that going. So I use uh, yams or sweet potatoes. Reason I don't use regular potatoes because regular potatoes has a really high glycemic index load. And if uh, you don't know what that means, Google it. Um, basically, the glycemic index load on this this uh, sweet potatoes and yams um, is a lot smaller or less, and um, it's not going to spike your insulin so high. Um, Kind of the problem with the modern American diet is we have a lot of foods that spike your insulin levels. So um, what you see uh, is a lot of issues and problems, you know, like 
type 2 diabetes, uh, adult onset, is because of uh, the high glycemic index loads that we have in our modern foods. So for paleo, what we want to do is focus on um, foods that aren't processed um, for the most part and uh, try to get a healthy balance of lower glycemic index foods in our diet. So um, we got the onions that are going here and I really wish it was a smell of vision because with the pepper and the sage it just smells fantastic. It's a red onion by the way. So I take a little bit of scoop of uh, my coconut oil here, put it over here in the nonstick pan. Um, I have another uh, iron cast skillet over there but I use the nonstick pan because I don't like cleaning eggs out of that thing. It's a real big pain. So um, we're going to melt that down a little bit and I'm going to throw the potatoes in. So I have the sweet potato all cut up, the uh, pan's um, preheated, and now I'm just going to take the sweet potato, put it in the pan, it's all cubed up. You cook them just like regular potatoes, but they're sweet potatoes, you know what, they taste better anyways. And the sweet potatoes are just beyond comparison when comparing to regular potatoes. I mean, the stuff is just tastes awesome, it's really good for you. I don't know why anybody eats regular potatoes anymore. I don't know why I ate them for so long. Because these are fantastic, you know? You should try them out, man. Potato french fries? Mmm, good, good stuff. So now I'm going to prep my eggs. Um, I eat, like to eat a lot of eggs. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, you should only eat one egg a day because of the cholesterol content. Well, I eat like five. And I'll tell you my workaround around that is what I do is um, I put five eggs into a cup and I take four yolks out. So I'm only getting one yolk. The cholesterol is in the yolk, the yellow part. In the clear part, the, there's no cholesterol in that part. And that's all pure protein anyways. So I'm trying to increase my protein content of my foods to be in more balance with the carbohydrates that I take in and also with the fats that I take in. Um, some people subscribe to what's called zone diet and that's where you break everything down into like percentages. You know, 40% uh, carbohydrates, 30% fat, 30% uh, protein. Well, with paleo, it's much simpler. Um, basically, on a plate of food, you want the fistful size of protein, meat, whatever. And in the rest of your plate, you want to be filled up with veggies. Veggies, maybe a little bit of fruit. Mostly veggies, though. Um, so, eggs are a really cheap source of protein. And um, this kind of breaks it up so I don't have to eat, uh, you know, tons and tons of meat all day. I like meat, too, but um, I like to have balance as well. So there are the five eggs that I put in the cup, and uh, I'm going to take out uh, four of the yolks. Now you can use a spoon for this process. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just take the yolk, pick it up with a spoon, um, kind of carve the amylin off the spoon. Use the spoon up against the side of the cup to cut the amylin off, and throw it down in your sink. Uh, throw it in on your garbage disposal, actually. Um, I take the, uh, the shells and I put them in the garbage because I've had uh, shells clog up my pipes before. So shells go in the garbage. Uh, no, I do not compost. At least not yet. And uh, yolks go into the drain. And sometimes they're a little tricky and they don't want to separate, so you just got to keep playing with it. Get it back up. Go in there. So now, as you can see, I only have one yolk left, and then I stir that up and uh, get it all nice and evenly spaced in there. So as you can see, I've uh, caramelized the onions nice, uh, caramelized them up, and now they're just sitting in the pan, the heat's off on that. And you can see that my uh, sweet potatoes, my cube sweet potatoes, are cooking up just really nicely. They take a little while, um, so I just have to shift them around in there periodically. Um, Another thing I like to add to my potatoes is spinach. Um, I just get the spinach in the bag. Um, this is Popeye spinach. So um, what I'll do is I'll take the spinach from here and I'll put it in there and cook it down. So spinach takes up a lot of space because it has a lot of water in it. So I just throw a little bit more oil in there, coconut oil that is. Put the spinach in there and uh, cook it down. And it adds a nice flavoring uh, to, my, to my breakfast. So, uh, go ahead and put some oil in there, and now I'll just take a little bit of spinach, 
throw that in there. Oil a little more. Pops a little bit because there's, there's water in the thing, but you cover up the oil. It shouldn't pop out on you. Okay, you just take that. Got the spinach in there, and uh, we're going to cook it down. So this will dramatically shrink in volume the more you cook it down. And it doesn't take very long, just a few minutes. So as you can see, um, the spinach is cooked down. Um, the potatoes are nice and brown. And so what I'll do is take some egg and just throw it in there. That's the egg I just prepared before. That was five eggs. Uh, four yolks taken out. Now that I have that in there, I just take my onion, scoop that in. Mmm, it's gonna be delicious. I didn't throw the garlic in there yet, I'm gonna save that for right now. So I throw everything in there. Then I take some uh, granulated garlic. Um, it's, just, it's called fine powder, but really it's, it's granulated, it's not like flour. It's small grains, which I seem to like the best, seem to work out best with all my cooking. Go ahead and put some in here. I'm pretty liberal with the uh, garlic because I really like garlic. And then just stir it up. Got the nonstick pan, so I really like that. Some people uh, like to just use stainless steel. Stainless steel to me is a pain in, a pain in the butt to clean. Um, purists will say, oh, you got all that nonstick stuff mixed in your food. Well, you all can't live forever, right? Well, one thing or another is going to get us. Anyways, I try to uh, minimize the uh, stuff that can poison me in my life, uh, but I'm not going to go to extreme levels to do that. So, um, this is my paleo breakfast. This is going to cook up just a little bit more. And uh, then it's going to be time to eat. It's going to be good. So now the meal is just about it's done cooking. Um, it's, so it's sweet potatoes, spinach, caramelized onions, um, and eggs that have uh, been had the yolks taken out, except for one because I like one yolk. And that's going to go in my belly here in a second. So for fun, um, just to throw a little bit more goodness into this, I'm going to take the rest of this avocado that my sweetie left me this morning. Take the uh, Take the seed out. I'm gonna cut this up. Oh yeah, because here comes the goodness. This is the good part right here. Take this avocado and uh, spread it. You know, the thing about paleo and the way you eat here is you tend to eat a little, eat a little more fat than most people would, but these are this is healthy fat and it gives you all kinds of energy. And I haven't noticed any weight gain from including things like um, cooking with coconut oil or using um, avocado in my meals to spice it up. Add a little bit more flavor. And if you really just want to top it off here, um, take a little bit of Cholula or Sriacha, whatever is your fancy. Put a little bit of that on top. And voila, you have a great paleo meal that I'm going to consume and enjoy the goodness of this um, because 95% of it or 98% of it is, uh, is uh, not a processed food. So um, enjoy and uh, see you soon.